Hey there, guys. We're gonna hop right into this one. Um, doing a little bit of a Kalili ghost, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, doing a little kind of tip video since I've had some people uh, ask me or just say in general they're not sure how some things here work. Most notably the orb mechanic, which can make this fight a little bit easier. Um, not that I think this fight is like super hard or anything, but it's definitely annoying. Especially on some classes without a support. Uh, and I don't think it's a fun fight, that's for sure. Um, before we get into the video though, of course, like it if you want to help out the channel. Uh, dislikes help too, so I mean if you don't like the video, dislike it, I don't care. Uh, a like is a like, a dislike is a dislike. It's engagement, maybe. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're going for 1k, we're almost there. New year, new me, uh, or something like that. But now, to the point of the video, Kalila Ghosts. Um, this is just going to be one kill we're going to do. And I'm just going to kind of play it out. It's not like a strict guide video or anything. I'm just going to kind of explain what I mean in like a real-time scenario. Um, since sometimes seeing it in guide format doesn't always work. Uh, at least it doesn't for me. I'm definitely a learn by doing. And not a learn by a watching but in any case <laughs> bro he keeps moving yeah that's one of the problems with this boss uh for this though this is first pheromone you just kind of back away from him and then you can throw the pheromone stay away from him because when he comes down he crashes down and does a bunch of damage um, and also, if you don't have a support, like if you matchmake this, which I usually do on like most of my characters, I just do party finder for my support because it's easy. This pattern, you sit in the middle until the last lightning and then you dash out. I see a lot of people mess that one up too. Obviously, you don't hit him for the stagger. It's much like the Vaulton um, stagger swing counter. I should have probably used my Serenade of Courage like half an hour ago, but I'm trolling. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Like I was saying, if you don't have support, use Purify Rune. It helps a lot. So you see that orb right there? You don't want to hit it. See, it exploded into a lightning shield. And if you have that lightning shield, you cannot get the lightning dragon power, the buff spawn. So you want to wait until you have the the buff spawn orb, and then destroy the shield orbs. We'll see the mechanic again, so you'll, I'll try to point it out a bit better. But that's the main thing that I see people do. Um, obviously, sometimes he spawns it on top of him, and in those cases, I mean, there's not much you can do. You just have to deal with it. But getting the buff makes this a lot faster um, and easier. And the fight is kind of built around it. Obviously, you can do it without the buff. But it just makes this already unfun man take a little bit longer. So, knowing how to do it correctly helps. And getting the lightning shield buff is actually very important as well because it reduces the damage of all of his lightning attacks by a huge amount. Which, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, he does quite a few lightning attacks. Uh, and that's the second pheromone, obviously. When he starts doing that, you just get away from him. Same deal. And then for this, you go in, and you sit in to avoid all the lightning. As a DPS, there's no real good place to stand. The best advice I can give you is try to stick to his ass because of his tail swipe that knocks you down. The one on his back only um, staggers you a little bit or paralyzes you, whatever the proper term is. Same deal here, you sit in and then dash out at the end when the last ring pops. If you do it before then, you will... Uh, get hit another stagger 
again, you see this is the lightning shield orb. You don't want to... This is lightning shield orb. Don't kill it until you kill these. Now I can kill it. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I didn't kill it. You have to be fast with it. Supports are not the greatest for killing it. And then obviously when the big lightning orb that messes with your screen spawns, you want to kill it. But the buff basically just makes your cooldowns go sicko mode. You can see how much I'm able to spam my abilities. And that's the big thing that people need to uh, try to do right a little bit more. That will significantly help your Caligos runs. In any case, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye.